On behalf of my co-authors of the TCAR surveillance project, I present it at the 2019 Vascular Annual Meeting of the Society of Vascular Surgery in Washington, D.C. This is the largest study to date evaluating the outcome of TCAR performed in little over 5,700 patients comparison to the gold standard carotid artery and diorectomy. Patients undergoing TCARs were older, more likely to be symptomatic, had more severe comorbidities, and also higher anatomical risk factors. In match analyses, there was 64% reduction in the odd of myocardial infarction, 34% reduction in the odd of mortality, as well as 53% reduction in the composite outcome of stroke and death and MI in the TCAR group in comparison to CEA. There was also a 23% reduction in the hazard of one year mortality in the TCAR group. The TCAR surveillance project is sponsored by the Society of Vascular Surgery Quality Initiative, or VQI. The uh, main objective of this trial is to monitor the safety and effectiveness of TCAR and compare it to the gold standard carotid endarterectomy in real world setting. The main outcome measures are stroke or death at one year, while the secondary outcome measures are MI, stroke, and death at 30 days. TCAR is a hybrid procedure inspired by carotid endarectomy. A small cut down is made at the base of the neck and a stent is directly placed into the carotid artery while reversing the blood flow to protect the brain from potential embolic events. The main benefit of this procedure are avoiding the tortuous and potentially atherosclerotic arch, providing a CEA-like protection by clamping the common carotid artery, performing all part of the procedures under robust flow dynamic reversal protection, and easing the procedure by having a direct access, shorter wires, catheters, and stent delivery systems. I believe this study provides strong evidence on the effectiveness and safety of TCAR. Larger studies with longer follow-up are needed to confirm our findings and evaluate the indication of this procedure in normal risk patients.